Hello dog lovers. In this video I will talk about the most deadly diseases in dogs. Do you know what the most deadly diseases in dogs are? Today, we're diving nose first into the world of canine health. There's a whole array of diseases out there but some pose a greater risk than others and can depend on various factors like breed, age, and overall physical health of your furry friend. From the smallest Chihuahua to the largest Great Dane, every dog has its day with unique health concerns. So, stay with us as we delve into the world of canine health and explore these diseases in detail. Let's dive into the depths of canine health, starting with the most deadly diseases. Our four-legged friends can face a range of health issues, some of which can be fatal if not detected and treated early. It's our responsibility as pet owners to stay informed and keep a close eye on our pup's well-being. First on the list is cancer. Just like in humans, dogs can develop various types of cancer, including lymphoma, mast cell tumors, and bone cancer. Each of these cancers presents different symptoms, but common signs can include lumps, unusual weight loss, persistent cough, or any drastic changes in behavior or habits. Certain breeds like boxers, golden retrievers, and rottweilers are more susceptible to cancer. Next, we have heart disease. Canine heart disease can take two forms, heart failure, which is a weakening of the heart muscle, and heart disease, which involves the narrowing or leaking of the heart valves. Symptoms to look out for include fatigue, loss of appetite, and difficulty breathing. Breeds such as Cavalier King Charles Spaniels, Dachshunds, and Boxers are more prone to heart disease. Thirdly, let's look at kidney disease. This condition can be either acute, occurring suddenly or chronic, developing over a long period. The kidneys play a crucial role in removing waste from the blood, and when they aren't functioning properly, it can lead to a buildup of toxins. Symptoms can include increased thirst, frequent urination, loss of appetite, and lethargy. Older dogs in certain breeds such as Shih Tzus, Bulldogs, and Cocker Spaniels often face a higher risk. Lastly, we have Parvovirus, a highly infectious virus that attacks the intestines and can be fatal, especially in puppies. Parvovirus is characterized by severe vomiting, bloody diarrhea, and loss of appetite. It's incredibly contagious and can be prevented by a simple vaccine. Breeds like Rottweilers, American Pit Bull Terriers and Doberman Pinchers are more likely to contract this deadly virus. While these diseases can be intimidating, remember that the key to combating them is early detection and treatment. Regular checkups with your vet, a balanced diet, and plenty of exercises can go a long way in keeping your dog healthy. And let's not forget, our furry friends have a remarkable ability to bounce back when given the right care and attention. These diseases are a serious threat to our canine companions, but awareness and early detection can make all the difference. But not all health issues are deadly. Some are just common problems that can make your dog uncomfortable. Let's dive into some of these prevalent medical issues in dogs, their symptoms, and how they can be managed or treated. First off, allergies. Dogs can be allergic to a variety of things, including certain foods, dust mites, pollen, and even their own fur. Symptoms of allergies in dogs can range from excessive itching and scratching, red or watery eyes, sneezing, and in severe cases, skin infections. Allergies can be managed with a combination of medication, dietary changes, and sometimes hypoallergenic environments. Consultation with a vet is crucial to pinpoint the allergen and devise an effective treatment strategy. Next up is obesity, an increasingly common issue in dogs, much like in humans. Obesity in dogs can lead to a host of other health problems, including heart disease, diabetes, and arthritis. Symptoms of obesity are relatively straightforward. Your dog may appear overweight and may struggle with physical activity. Treatment for obesity in dogs involves a balanced diet and regular exercise, under the guidance of a vet. Dental disease is another common problem in dogs. Just like humans, dogs can suffer from plaque buildup, gum disease, and tooth decay. Symptoms can include bad breath, difficulty eating, and visible signs of discomfort. Regular dental checkups with your vet, along with at-home dental care, can help manage and prevent dental disease. Last but not least, arthritis. This is a degenerative joint disease that can affect dogs of all ages, but is more common in older dogs. Symptoms of arthritis in dogs can include difficulty moving, apparent pain when walking, and a decrease in activity levels. Treatment for arthritis often involves pain management medication, weight control, and in some cases, physical therapy. These are just a few of the common health issues that can affect our canine companions. While they may not be deadly, they can significantly impact your dog's comfort and quality of life. It's important to remember that regular vet checkups are key in early detection and treatment of these issues. Also, 
Keep in mind that while we've discussed some general symptoms, every dog is unique. Some may show clear signs of discomfort, while others might be more stoic and hide their pain. As a pet owner, you know your dog best. So if you notice any changes in their behavior or appearance, don't hesitate to seek veterinary advice. Remember, a healthy dog is a happy dog, and addressing these common problems can significantly improve your dog's quality of life. Now let's talk about how your dog's breed can affect its health. Every dog breed has its unique traits and quirks, but did you know that some breeds are more prone to certain health issues than others? This is due to the genetic traits that have been passed down through generations. Understanding these breed-specific health issues can be a big step in ensuring the well-being of your furry friend. Take pugs, for instance. These lovable, squishy-faced companions are often prone to breathing problems. This is because of their brachycephalic nature, meaning they have a short nose and flat face, which can lead to respiratory issues. So, if you're a pug parent, it's crucial to keep an eye out for any signs of breathing distress. And let's not forget about our large and loyal friends, the German Shepherds. These dogs are known for their intelligence and versatility, but they also have a genetic predisposition to hip dysplasia. This is a condition where the hip joint doesn't fit together perfectly, which can lead to pain and mobility problems. Regular exercise and maintaining a healthy weight can go a long way in managing this condition. On the other hand, we have the Dachshunds, those long-bodied, short-legged cuties. Their unique physique, while adorable, makes them prone to back issues, specifically intervertebral disc disease. This can cause pain, nerve damage, and in extreme cases, paralysis. Another breed worth mentioning is the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. These dogs are prone to a heart condition called mitral valve disease, which can lead to heart failure if not managed properly. Regular veterinary checkups can help in early detection and management of this condition. Of course, these are just some examples. There are many more breeds out there, each with its own set of health concerns. The key here is to do your research and consult with a trusted vet. Armed with this knowledge, you can take the necessary preventive measures and ensure your dog lives a long, happy, and healthy life. Knowing your breed's health risks can help you take preventive measures and keep your dog healthy. We've covered a lot of ground today, so let's quickly summarize. We've delved into the world of canine health, highlighting the most lethal diseases that can affect our four-legged companions. We've discussed how diseases such as heartworm, parvovirus, and distemper can wreak havoc on a dog's health. Yet, with proper vaccination and regular vet checkups, these diseases are largely preventable. Moving on, we've addressed some of the most common medical problems in dogs. From ear infections to dental diseases, we've learned that these issues are often a result of neglect and can be avoided with routine care and attention. Regular grooming, proper nutrition, and good dental hygiene can go a long way in keeping these problems at bay. Then we've looked at breed-specific health issues. We've seen how certain breeds are more prone to specific health problems due to their genetic makeup. For instance, the brachycephalic breeds like bulldogs and pugs often struggle with breathing issues, while larger breeds like the German Shepherds may be predisposed to hip dysplasia. Understanding your breed's specific health risks can help you be proactive in their care and management. Remember, the key to a healthy dog is awareness, prevention, and early detection. Together we can ensure our furry friends live long, happy lives. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day everyone.